Hi guys and welcome back, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a panettone bread and butter pudding, let's begin. To start you'll want to grab your mini panettones that you made a couple of days ago so they should be semi stale, cut them in half and that's all you need to do for now. Once you've got them all cut in half you can go ahead and cover them or coat the one side with butter, so you want to butter the bread very well. Don't be stingy, be very generous and repeat the process until you've done all of your panettone. You can then go ahead and grab yourself a pudding basin or a heat proof bowl which is about 1.2 litres in capacity and generously butter it with some room temperature butter. D again don't be stingy, you, this is a full luxury dish or very simply luxury anyway. Set aside, then into a bowl you'll want to make your kind of custard mixture, add in your milk and your eggs followed by your vanilla and your cream. Then you can go ahead and give it a good whisk just to bring it together. You're looking for everything to be combined and the mixture should be a sort of orangey colour depending on your eggs. Once it's fully combined you can then start to layer it. So this is really simple. Take some of your panettone, place them in and just sprinkle over the sugar, the fruit, the spice and the lemon zest. And repeat that every time you add some new panettone. You may have some ingredients left at the end but these can be poured over or added to the top as the custard poured on as this will add and it will incorporate, so don't worry, just get it all in there as best as you possibly can. Then you can go ahead and pour over your custard mixture and I used a cup measurement to ensure that I was getting a good coverage all over the top. Try to get it all in the basin and not all over your counter. Just repeat the process until all of the custard has been used up. You may find that this takes a little while or it doesn't look like you've got enough. Believe me, you've got more than enough. Once you've finished with the custard mixture, you'll want to cover with some cling film and allow it to sit at room temperature for an hour. This is where it, the custard will soak into the fruit and it will infuse. Trust me, letting it sit for an hour is the best thing you can do. It really does help the final product. So here is what it looks like after an hour. Place into your oven and bake it off. Again, I will leave all this information in the blog post link down below. So here is what the end result looked like. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me. And I'll be back again very soon with another recipe, so join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description. I'll be a link to this recipe, a link to my blog and links to my social medias. But that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys.